We will briefly talk about the integrated circuits here. So integrated circuits or the first letters is like ICs, we call it IC, or sometimes you also hear that chips. So these are the small circuits that you can put a lot of gates in it. So we did uh, discuss this before, so let's think about an AND gate. So you have an AND gate, it has two inputs and one output, let's say. And you can actually put a lot of AND gates in one chip. So you can, when you call, uh, make your circuits, you can have a lot of options to build your circuit. So what you do, you put these all into one chip so you have all the access to each each uh, AND gate so you can say this is the first one second one third one fourth one they are not really connected to each other they have access to individual pins so they have their inputs and they have their outputs so you can either connect them together or you can uh, use them as uh, separate AND gates and these are your outputs and uh, outputs I'll call it Y Y3 and Y4 so uh, let's say you want to uh, make a circuit for example like a simple AND gate circuit are two AND gates and they are connected to another AND gate and let's say our inputs are A, B, C and D and our output is it's going to be A, B, C, D so let's say if this is your first and second and this is your third AND gate you can use this one and this would be your A input, B input, this would be your C and D and these two outputs would be an input for the third AND gate and this would be your output A, B, C, D. This way you can use this chip to to control to, to make your, your circuit. So I'm going to show you now um, an integrated circuit that uh, that we actually use this. This is 7408. This is an AND gate and this AND gate Uh, has four this chip has four AND gates and you can see the inputs 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B and 4A, 4B and if you look at the chip itself the 7408 this is how it looks these are all the pins that goes uh, to your circuit board and you can see that, that 1 and 2 the pin numbers 1A and 1B those are when you look at the physical chip itself the first the very first one on the top left is 1A and 1B so this is your first AND gate and this is the output of that AND gate and this is the second AND gate with the output uh, third one and the fourth one and you can see there is a GND and VCC those are your power outputs inputs so GND means this is ground that means it needs to go to ground which is zero volt it has to go to zero and when you say VCC this is your power and for usually in most of the cases it is five volts so you can think this as your digital 1 and this is your digital uh, 0.